It's time. Alrighty guys, before we get started on today's video, I just wanted to thank you all for 100 subs. Uh, we hit that over the weekend, and I, again, thank you all of you for sticking around. I just find it crazy that there are 100 people out there, more than 100 people now, um, that really enjoy the videos that I make, and I will continue to make them for you guys. I'm really enjoying this new style of content. So with that super insignificant announcement out of the way, I just wanted to kind of do a recap over the last season of Rainbow Six Siege with Phantom Sight. Ember Rise is quickly approaching, and I've done a fair bit to change up the way that I play Siege, and I just kind of wanted to go over my perspective in that regard. So this season, I have played more ranked than I have in any season combined, and then doubled that, and then a little bit more. Overall, I really only ever had played ranked just to get a placement, and then I never touched it again. I'd play my 10 matches, get my little badge, and then I'd be done. Whether that was silver, whether that was gold, it didn't matter. But this season, I aimed to change that. I said I wouldn't play casual. I did end up playing some casual, but for the most part, it was ranked. I have about 120 matches this season. I think the biggest thing that stands out to me, at least the first thing that stands out to me about playing in this way is that Rainbow Six had even more to offer with this new competitive side of ranked. I've been playing since day one and I kind of thought that the game really didn't have much more to offer than the new season always coming out, new new operators, new map or remastered map, something like that. But with this new competitive side of ranked, there's a completely different community that I've been exposed to in some good ways and some bad ways. But overall, that's a really good thing, I think, it, that uh, Rainbow Six is able to offer a, an experience to so many different types of gamers. Most of the time in the past, my experience had been not playing with full stacks. It'd be, you know, two to three friends, we'd hop in a casual match. We never really wanted to touch ranked because, you know, we didn't have a full stack. That, is, that has really changed this season. Most of the time I was playing with four people, sometimes even five, you know, as close to a, a full stack as we could get. And it definitely changes the way that you interact with Siege. What you don't realize is even though you hate the randoms, you kind of come to depend on their sporadic nature. Either they're a fragger, or sometimes you get carried, sometimes they're terrible and bring you down. But you kind of come to depend on it when you play with two or three people. You know, playing with a full stack, you really don't run into that, obviously. So you kind of have to depend that your teammates are going to have your back. And that's, again, comes with its benefits and its negatives, but I really think overall it's been a good experience trying to adapt to the teamwork in that regard. Ranked can be incredibly frustrating if you don't pick up on it naturally. Over this season, I started at a gold 2 with an overall KD of 1.1, I think. And I have watched my stats slowly crawl downward as I learn how to actually approach gunfights and how to attack and defend objectives. This goes for mostly matches that were high golds and platinums, which we ended up playing quite a few times this season. I realize that I really don't... I, I'm working on it. I'm getting there. But I, right now, I don't match that level of skill. I have teammates that do. You know, they, get, they have the fragging potential. And I don't play a fragging role either. But I definitely can tell that there was this side of Rainbow Six that I was not exposed to, and it's really showing on my statistics. And this is more of a personal thing, but I really didn't expect Ranked to bring out something that I needed to take care of in my own life. I realized after playing Ranked that I not only take Rainbow Six way too seriously, but a lot of other things in my life are plagued with the same general sense of holding everything to a perfection level. That's just not realistic, and I think Rainbow Six convinced me that I'm going to need some help with that. I, You know, I'll be honest. It's, it's something that's plagued me for a long time, and I think it's time to finally take care of that. So I really didn't expect it to come from playing ranked with friends and starting a team and all that to bring out something like, oh, shit, I might need to actually go get therapy for that. So that's kind of an interesting personal take from this season. I think overall Ranked has pushed me in ways that I really didn't expect and I'm really grateful for it. It has finally pushed me into practicing something even when it's hard, which I've struggled with my whole life. If I wasn't a prodigy, then I wasn't doing something right. That's always how I've looked at practicing, you know, that goes for guitar, that goes for piano, that goes for choir, even my individual singing, you know, if I wasn't a prodigy, then I'm just going to give it up. And I never put any patience or time into it and it's really been frustrating trying to do that in Ranked. But 
it's been a really good experience and I've convinced myself, no, this is where that stops. Now, am I going to need some help to get there? Absolutely. I definitely think so. But overall, I'm super excited to see what happens next season, you know, uh, when everything starts to kind of click into place like it's supposed to. And kind of on that same note, if I had to give one general piece of advice to anybody who wants to start taking Rainbow Six more seriously, or maybe is in the same place that I'm in now, it's that to not let it go even if it gets frustrating or tough. You're going to have rough days while you're learning, but slowly you will watch your stats head back up as the things you practice begin to click, and it's going to take hours, it's going to take time. Um, I, every single person I know that is actually good at the game, not like a gunner, not a ranked gunner or whatever, Anybody who's actually good at the game will tell you there is nothing like putting hours. And I realized, I thought, I thought, before I checked my stats as far as hours in game, I thought, man, I have so much time in this game. My Xbox profile shows 900 hours. My Steam profile shows 500 hours. Like, that's 1,600 hours. But when you actually look at the amount of time that you spent in game compared to some of the people who are really good at this game, I've spent very, very little. I've spent probably 300 hours total, including casual and ranked. And most of the people I know who are actually decent at the game have put three to 400 hours in ranked alone. You really have to understand that time is what you need. It's just like football. You might be naturally gifted at running. You might be naturally gifted at strategy. But to put those things together in a football game is a completely different beast. And you're probably not going to be naturally gifted at that. You're probably going to take some time to develop a skill where you can actually play with the big leagues. You know, you can actually get to the, to give it a cringy gaming term, platinum level players. You know, it takes time. So give yourself some patience. Give yourself some space. And that's what I'm working on right now. And you just got to stick with it and see it to the end. Besides that, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.